Come in. Coffee's ready and everything. Yule looks around, clearly uncomfortable. I wasn't expecting there to be a crowd. What's the occasion? Noelle is quitting her apprenticeship. I'll be honest, I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think these guys would ever meet. Interesting. I hadn't heard anything about that. <laughs> I'm Sid. I'm Master Yodelin. Who are you? I'm someone who needs to borrow Noelle for a teeny tiny moment. So if you'll excuse us... Don't be a stranger. You can talk here and drink coffee. It's kind of a private issue. No offense to anyone here. I'll take offense you don't drink my coffee. Drink now. Then you can go. It's a bit late to be dr... Drink now. Mexican quality from my hometown. You like. Fine, hand it over then. I mean, <laughs> thank you. Kindly. Elaine hands Yule a small, slightly chipped cup of coffee. Are these are these Noelza cups? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you like? Told you it's very good. What flavor you think it is? It tastes like coffee to me. No, oh, it's special blend with flavor. Uh, okay, how does mocha taste like vanilla? Uh, I don't know, vanilla? You Elaine smirks. So, well, so it be sometimes. Yes, yes, very delicious. So, Noel, Yule gestures her towards himself and opens the door. The last thing Noel wants to do is follow. But if I can murder her out here. If you have something to say to her, you could say it here. I changed her voice. This is the perfect voice for that bitch. <laughs> do you not know what private means? I, uh, it, sorry, I'm busy tonight. Can it wait? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. I'll find you tomorrow. Yule gives them all the most pleasant smile and leaves. Once his footsteps have faded, Ivy is the first to speak. What's his problem? Hey, hey, he's a vanilla. No, this guy's a monkey. <laughs> oh, no, I know Yule's secret now. Maybe he knows a trick then. Crap taste? I told you, this coffee's special. It's both choco and vanilla. But so much choco you can only taste chocolate. Right? So what? It's my mix. Has magic. Enough about your coffee. That guy was... An imp! <laughs> Told you he was an imp. You don't look like an imp. You how, how, is he a, how is he in a snow sprite body? Well, maybe he's magical enough to put up a, a costume. A mm. costume? <laughs> <laughs> what? Imps can't taste. Can't touch snow ma sprite magic. It gets repelled off. So you couldn't taste the chocolate? Only the vanilla? I covered the chocolate powder in magic. So you only taste vanilla. You was an imp. He looks mighty proud as he declares that, and not the least bit worried. Guess that would explain why he has an imp friend. But he doesn't look anything like an imp. Must be illusion. Probably. Imp's very good with magic. Got many tricks. Haven't been sensing an imp around for days. Now I don't know why. I couldn't sense anything. Though something did seem to be off about him. If he's an imp, then go seal him already. Why? He not doing anything. He's harassing Noel. And more than that, he's trying to unseal some other imp. If my mother was here, she would have dealt with him on the spot. Your mother's much smarter than that. Shut up. <laughs> this is why you can't be a prince, nor a mage. You're impulsive. Big emotions. What's that supposed to mean? I'm an artist. Hmm. <laughs> Don't need no artist. Need a worker. <laughs> hey, do then. Tell him to tell his friend to repent. Then make him leave. Imp can't enter Snow Sprite village alone. So if you don't lead him back, he won't be back. Huh. I'd be scared if I was Noel now. Oh, that's why he was telling her yeah, to leave. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't okay. lost. He was just waiting for somebody. Mmm. Ah, uh, interesting. Very easy. Easy to say at least. He's not going to listen to me. I already told him to leave so many times. He just doesn't. Bring him in. Why is she putting that, like, responsibility on this fucking girl's shoulders when she has barely any magic to her? When he could do it himself, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, he's saying technically Yule hasn't done anything yet, but like he's trying to feed, he's trying to free an imp that eats kids. Like, sh you know, obviously. But who's to say that's even true? That could just be a lie. That's but true, that's he, true. But not but in Utilanin, Yeah, yeah, exactly. Utilanin yeah. thinks it's true. What if Utilanin's a pussy? He's like, oh, I'll let this little girl handle it. Why not? Man, <laughs> she, could could, she could barely make snowflakes, but yeah, she could deal with that guy. <laughs> like, <laughs> come on. How? You want to unseal a friend, right? See you home. But when outside, you run back home. And then just never ever leave the village again? You're not oh, You're okay. not so important he wait for you outside always. Random nobody is what you want. How dare how dare you? <laughs> um, I hate them. No, no. I understand what he means. He was def she was defending her about <laughs> <laughs> Ivy can't do shit without a bell. He's on, no, she's only defending her because she because she hates him more yeah. than she. Hates. 
hates Noel. She got beef with him, and that's why she she's defending uh, Noel. Yeah, yeah, but before that, you see, remember she was uh, when uh, when the, she she was with Yodelin when she was make when Yodelin made fun of her. You know, do you remember in the first? That's uh, true. That's first, true. That's yeah. true. He was like a. No. She, her pussy. she called. You, Elena called said that milk is for pussies, and then she was like, "Oh, I guess Noel." And then she made like a she called Noel a pussy, basically. Yeah, and pussy then Noel. they just laugh. Yeah, she's like that piece of shit friend you always hate, but unfortunately he's there. Bro, why does he keep doing this? There we go. <laughs> Maybe because you fucking downloaded it. Probably. <laughs> 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 I'm a fucking team bro. <laughs> <laughs> Downloading games off Timu is crazy. That'd be wild. Straight viruses. Oh man. shit! You just you just gave Timu a huge idea, bro. Dude, we're we're actually not even playing No Good Noel. This is a completely different game with the same title. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh shit! I didn't know. Wait, I didn't read that. Oh, the, wait, I can't go back. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. Controls. <laughs> Honestly, if that's true, I'm relieved. Well then. Master Yulainen gulps down the rest of his coffee and gets up. And that, shh, you're just gonna leave? Nothing is solved yet. Shut up, you give me a headache. Noel, come to the workshop whenever. I'll teach you to make snowflakes. Ah, oh, okay, that's nice. Who wants to study under you? All you do is mass produce garbage. That's right, I do. Mass produce money. <laughs> that's why I didn't accept you. Why are you so mad? I did you favor. Some favor? Big favor, don't waste talents. Just your dad knows me. More pit and master. It's for you out there somewhere. No skill issue. Just find him. I feel like Elaine's about to die, bro. Well, well, good. That's what I thought. Okay. All good. Uh, yes. Good. I go now. Good night. G good night. Hate Mas that bitch, Ivy. Master gives Noel a big smile, and then he leaves. Is everything all right? I'm not sure what to make what he said. Ah, uh, no. I'm not sure. I mean. I'm too good for him. What not he being a jerk about it? Like That little like... <laughs> I think that's just how he talks. Backless old coot. <laughs> <laughs> the, the <laughs> really fits her character. <laughs> huh. Well, anyway, once that it comes to bother you again, you know what to do. I, I like how they're just like... They're just making that like, oh, it's an easy task, you know? Like, just lead him away and then leave him there. <laughs> Like, that's kind of, like, assuming Noel is the same age as Ivy, like, this little-ass fucking 20-year-old girl is not fucking tricking that guy, all right? That guy's too smart. Mm -hmm. Like, I would not I would not leave her alone with that guy. Like, no. fucking her and you, Elaine, are both, like, overestimating Noel, in my opinion. Not really? Don't worry. It didn't sound too hard. We just have to get him outside and leave him there. We? Oh, is she going to help her? Hey. No, she's not. They call it a night. All the coffee and worry render Noel unable to sleep. Yo, when's the last time she fucking slept? Yeah, bro, it's been like three days. For better or worse, this allows her to hear a persistent light tapping on her window. Irregular, but persistent. <laughs> An overgrown oh. branch hitting the oh. glass, maybe? She tries mm. to ignore it in vain. Finally, she gets up, intending to snap that damn branch off, but finds it's not a branch at all. It's Yule! Throwing tiny pebbles up at her window. Noelle opens it. Ha! Made you look. You. It's almost morning. Bro, like, she has not slept in it's such a long time. What do you mean it's almost morning? What do you want? You to come out and play. Ew. <laughs> Are you guys going out? <laughs> no. no. Take a nap, bro. Yeah. <laughs> well, mm, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. She's literally in tune with the character. Yeah. <laughs> Though I guess I should keep up appearances. Fine. I can't sleep anyway. They walk around a little. So, what's mm -hmm. going on with us? Oh, what do you mean? Bro, Noelle is crazy. She knows he's an What do you mean? Imp. She knows he's an imp. Well, and, she has to keep up she's appearances. she's walking around like, like, bruh. That is crazy. Oh, well, he hasn't, like, done anything to her in, like, the past week or something. I mean, uh, if it's true, but like... I mean, if he does something to her, like, they're obviously gonna know who it was. I don't know. I was under the impression I was to help you get that license. Yet Ivy said something vastly different. Oh, that. Um... Noelle racks her brain for an excuse. It doesn't go unnoticed by you. Change of heart, I take it? No. No. We're still on. Honest. He knows I you're mean, lying. You already know Ivy thinks I quit. Hmm. 
Your master didn't object to what she said. Ivy says stuff like that all the time. Maybe he thought it was a joke? I don't know. Why were they there anyway? Well, why not? Believe it or not, I have a social life. Also, where was the mother that whole entire time? Bro, she's smoking some Zaza, probably in the red light district or something. She's no, knocked no. out. She's in the red light district, it's crazy. Yule looks at Noel. His expression doesn't betray any of his thoughts. What does that mean? Oh, okay. He wouldn't harm me, would he? Not while he needs me to get those spheres. You're on edge. I'm... I'm tired. Thanks to someone, I've been sleeping like crap lately. I'll be out of your hair soon. There's nothing stopping you from entering Ivy's house anymore. Honestly, I was kind of hoping you'd have gotten it done yesterday, but... Oh well. Um, tomorrow. Or today, I mean. After I wake up. Don't you mean after work? It's a day off. She pulled it out of her ass. <laughs> uh, Did he buy it? I can't tell. Then I should let you go back to sleep. Meet you at the mountain? Ha! <laughs> no? No, I'll meet you here, stupid. Sweet dreams. Good night. She makes it only a couple steps away before... You've been good to me, Noel. Um... Mentally manipulative son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, dude. Not really? Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you? It hasn't been that long, but we're friends now, aren't we? Yeah, of course. That's all. Sleep tight. Oh, no. <laughs> no way she bought that, bro. Like, come on. Oh, she's falling for the monkey, babe, bro. She's falling for that monkey ass, babe. He didn't mean that. Okay, she's having her doubts. That's good. Don't mess with me. Okay, okay, okay. Good to know she's not that dumb. Don't, 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 God, don't. The sun is just climbing over the horizon when both Noelle and her mother arrive at the, at the front of their door. Goodness, what are you doing outside at this hour? Wait, did you leave the kids at home by themselves? Oh, she wasn't home? The mother? Oh. That's why she didn't pull up to the, uh, the little party. I only stepped out for a little bit. They were all asleep anyway. Noelle! What if they woke up? They're not infants. They'll live. You don't understand. They'll be scared to find themselves all alone. They're <laughs> not alone. There's five of them. <sighs> I'm too tired for this. Oh, working nights just kills me. When did you say you'll be getting paid again? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's been a while now and I'm getting a little worried. <laughs> it's, I'm working on it. Don't worry. Good, good. I can't wait. Oh my god. Well, I'm gonna head to bed. Since you're up, could you fix the kids some breakfast? Oh my god, <laughs> Noelle hasn't slept at all. <laughs> sure thing. Sweet dreams. Ugh. Why didn't I just tell her it didn't work out? I'm digging myself into a hole here. Uh, I have to figure something out. I have to. But first, I need to get this Yule stuff sorted out. He was acting kind of off. That can't be good. After scavenging together enough food for the kids, Noelle leaves to visit Ivy. Scavenging together enough food. Crazy sentence. Oh ho. I know that look. What's eating at you? It's just the money. Or lack of thereof. Oh. Me. Yeah, uh, the same old, same old. Listen, it'll be fine. Oh my god. She actually knows no hardships. She literally can't imagine what it would be like to be broke as shit. Also, I think you will know something is up. How so? I don't know, just a feeling I got. You already met with him? Uh, yes? Noel, don't do that without me. That guy's an imp. What if he ate you? Well, he didn't. So, anyway, we're gonna unseal his friend today. Or so I told him. So, let me show him the spheres, so he'll trust me. Bruh. Seems a little risky. He might just kill you once he sees you have them. Yodelayan said imps can't touch snow sprite magic. And aren't the spheres just that? Hmm. Come on, I tell him I have them, and he's gonna want to see them. This is such a bad idea. Ha! Who's the pussy now? Oh, Very, shit. I like them. Yeah. There's a massive difference between ha having being a pussy. I almost said having, having a pussy. A pussy. <laughs> 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 That's crazy. Between being a pussy and having common sense. Boo! Meow, meow, meow. Crazy. Fine, fine. I got it already. Ivy goes to grab both of the spheres. Here. I'm going to lie and wait in the mountains, just in case anything goes wrong, so I can ambush him if I need. But if you manage to lose him before that, don't worry about me. Can Ivy even use like her, her magic offensively? 
Because isn't she like primarily an artist? Like she makes mm. pretty snowflakes, but like, does she know how to like attack with it? Mm. Probably not. She, she, she thinks she's she probably can. just. Yeah, yeah she's, she's, she's probably she's like confident, so maybe she can, but I don't know. But it might, see, it might just be overconfidence, but we'll see. I mean, that gets her killed, dude. How many hours of gameplay have we been playing with this game, <laughs> bro? It's like like maybe almost five hours now. Shit, this yeah. feels longer than Doki Doki. Okay, <laughs> no, it doesn't, bro. We played Doki Doki <laughs> no, for like three months. No, it's not. <laughs> it is not even close. Uh, <laughs> I'll sneak back home on my own. Do you know where the sealed imp is? Yeah, I know the one. It's the one that ate a child. Oh my god. I wonder what kind of things Yule has done too, if anything. Oh my god. Don't worry. I got your back. There's plenty of good spots to hide in there. Uh, alright. 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 Alright! Alrighty. <laughs> alrighty, alright. Get going, before I lose my nerve. <laughs> With the spheres in tow, with the spheres in tow, Noelle waits for Yule. So Yule is already there by the time she arrives. Looking a little nervous there. <laughs> Did you get them? Noelle digs the spheres out of her pocket and offers them to Yule. She wants to see if Yule can touch them or not to ease her own mind. Then she realizes that if Yule isn't an imp, he'd still want to unseal that other imp. So she quickly retracts her offer and shoves the spheres back into her pocket. Right. How about you hold on to those? Yeah, he didn't reach out to them at all, though he didn't step back either. What if Yule himself is a hybrid? Like a... Uh, that makes snow, sense. Snow sprite and a... a half-breed? Yeah, half-breed. Like, that's his dad. Oh, fuck, that'd be crazy. <gasps> that'd be fucking insane. He's just like, oh, he's about to eat a child, and he's like, no, it's my dad hanging out with me. <laughs> Guys, what if, what if, what if he's, oh. like, he's like half-sibling? <laughs> Ivy's half-sibling? <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Dad, you want that? She was like, mom. ah, yep. Fucking orc. No, 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 no. I said orc. Oh my god. Orc? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking with imps. Like, love child. Is something the matter? Not at all. Then let's get going, shall we? Noelle drags her feet as they go. The frozen landscape offers very few hiding places. Losing Yule was going to be a challenge. What's keeping you? You're falling behind. It's the lack of sleep, probably. Bro, she oh my god. Actually has not slept in like three, four days. Yeah, uh, it's insane. She's the goat, bro. I could never do that some shit. Uh, sooner than Noelle would prefer, they're climbing up the small mountain. Oh, crap. We're already here. Bro, I feel like we're like getting towards the end here. Like, <laughs> uh, I think this is the end. We gotta be past halfway, bro. We're definitely past halfway, but like, she looks around trying to spot Ivy, but can't find her. Now, break the spheres. Uh huh? Huh? I need the eye and finger from inside them. Smash them on the floor or something. Oh, um... I was uh, under the impression that you could just borrow them for a bit. What on earth gave you that impression? Just break them. I don't know about that. Let me think about it some more. Do as I said. The tone of his voice is calm, but ice cold. This is going to get ugly. Let me think about this some more. Noelle turns to leave, but Yule grabs her arm and yanks her back. Before she has the chance to protest, there's a small flurry of snowflakes flying right at Yule's face. <laughs> what the? The surprise makes him let go, and Noelle dashes away. You want to play it that way? Oh my god. Yule creates some snowflakes too. A lot of snowflakes. Dude, I'm just thinking in this, like, picture, I feel like this would have, this must have been so fun to draw for now <laughs> like, it looks so pretty it does it does mm -hmm. actually this is, this is good i like this it's like a blizzard somehow made its way into the little cave and noelle can't see at all she's blindly fumbling about oh look she's black ah! she's blindly fumbling about against the wind and snow when yule catches up with her let's try this again it pulls her head back by the hair break the spheres noelle won't instead she is kicking and screaming though it doesn't seem to bother yule too much he tries to pull the spheres out of her pocket, but his hand gets violently repelled away. Okay, fuck this. You can either work with me, or I'll throw you off the damn cliff. The blizzard picks up, pushing Noelle towards the entrance, which is where she wanted to go, just not so fast. Too fast to hold onto anything. Surely the spheres would break upon impact, just like Noelle's neck when she'd hit the ground. Hey, give. I'll do it. The wind lets up a little, just enough for the friction of her feet to keep her in place. Then the blizzard suddenly stops altogether. Noelle, who was pushing against the wind, trips over herself with a yelp. 
The reason for that sudden the reason for the sudden cease is that Ivy has jumped on Yule from behind. <laughs> Not even using magic, just straight up wrestling him. And the two of them were busy rest oh, wrestling. Ivy clearly on the losing end. <gasps> go of her. No! Idiot, go home. Oh, that's right. Yule needs the spheres more than he needs either of them dead. Hey, I'm going. I'm going right now. She makes a big show about leaving and then bolts. Yule would launch right after her, but Ivy is holding him back. He isn't able to keep the spell either, since his hands are busy defending and keeping Ivy at bay. Ah, get off me, woman! <laughs> Having had enough, Yule grabs the back of Ivy's neck and slams her face into the floor. Yeah, that was going to leave a mark. Ivy blacks out for a hot second, and Yule takes the opportunity to go after Noelle. Noelle knows she can't outrun Yule and his magic, so she's desperately looking for a place to hide. But there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. The trees aren't wide enough. The snow shows her footprints. Unlike Ivy, she can't even blind Yule with her crappy, high-effort snowflakes. Hopeless! I'm not about to die over one fucking imp. Are you kidding me? I should just give him the spheres. I should... She reaches a common path, her footprints mingling with all the others now. A desperate idea struck her. She takes one of the spheres and flings it back towards where she came from. Yule should spot it just fine. She then jumps off the path back onto the untouched snow and covers behind a small evergreen. From there, she uses what little snowflakes she can make to cover the tracks from the path to where she is. She knows, should Yule look around, he'd surely find her. But she hopes that Yule assumes she continued uh, she continued running along the path. It doesn't take long until she can hear Yule approaching. So she holds her breath as to not create any fog and looks away, just in case he can feel her staring. Or maybe she's just scared to look. Hmm. <laughs> Sure enough, Yule spots the sphere. He takes off his overcoat and throws it on the top of the sphere, engulfing it in the fabric. Then he tries to lift the fabric, but nope! The sphere shoots out, sending the coat flying. God fucking damn it! He tries a few more times. He tries a few more times, but it's futile. Next, he positions himself behind the sphere, opposite of where he wants it to go, and gives the sphere a gentle kick. The sphere, of course, repels Yule's foot, like the two identical poles of a magnet. He hisses in pain, but since his foot didn't give way, the sphere did instead, launching it forward. Yule decides that he can work with this, and just proceeds to kick the sphere towards the mountain. This is going to take a while! <laughs> After he is sufficiently far away, Noel comes out of hiding and runs back to the village with all her might. Master Yulainen is bellowing a heavy metal song in the privacy of his workshop when Noel bursts through the doors. Learn the knock. You've got to seal Yule! Bro, th this... <laughs> this big motherfucker is not making it all the way to the cave <laughs> before he doesn't kill Ivy. <laughs> like, Ivy's dead, bro. This again. He's not doing anything. He tried to kill me and Ivy. Ivy's still there. You have to help. His demeanor shifts immediately. We go. <laughs> bro, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. <laughs> <laughs> Yule has run into a minor inconvenience. Surely he could force the sphere for uh, forward. But upwards? Not so much. It either kept falling back down or getting stuck on ledges. His limbs were becoming a bruised and bloody mess too, from all the damage he'd taken from punting the sphere. You. So you. So, oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. So you went and got a friend. What if you just kills him? Why wow, you hurt no one, Ivy? <laughs> Why is bro asking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's probably looking for a proper. He seems like the type of guy. To use Takano Jitsu, you know what I'm saying? Just making sure that, like, he's a piece jitsu. of shit. <laughs> yeah. I, I do get that too, actually, maybe. Maybe should, they should have gotten the dad too. Master was going to reason with him? Noel wants to scream. It's just a misunderstanding. Why are you get that spear? I found it. Sure not steal it? No, I found it. Isn't that right, Noel? I. But you were trying to steal it, and you pulled my hair, and you were gonna push me off the cliff, and. That never happened. Elena looks at Noelle. Her hair and clothes are a mess, but other than the bruises from when she fell down, there's nothing that couldn't have been from any old fall. She was going up and down a mountain after all. Of course, she might have just tripped. Elena couldn't justify sealing Yule with evidence like that. Spirit belongs to a friend of mine. Give it back. Finders keepers. Hmm, not very friendly. Just seal him off. He. Wait, where's Ivy? Must have gone home already. Noelle ascends up the mountain. 
Yule lets her go, since he is so busy pretending to be innocent. Ivy? Ivy, it's me! Where are you? Ugh, over here. Behind some ice pillars sits Ivy, holding a chunk of ice to her face. Oh no, Ivy. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Oh shit! No, is he gone now? I got Master here, but he won't seal him off. Are you kidding me? They're right outside. Ivy and Noel return to Master, who is still poking and prodding Yule for a reason to seal him. It is only after he sees Ivy's face that he has had enough. You did that. Nonsense, she did it to herself. <laughs> That's enough, Flies. Yulainen starts conjuring up a sealing spell. Yule doesn't take kindly to that, and begins raising another blizzard. But Noel digs out the remaining sphere from her pocket and throws it at Yule. Before it comes into contact with him, it repels off, but the distraction is enough to interrupt his casting. Oh shit! Master finishes his spell just fine though, and soon Yule is deeply frozen in place. Hurry, we take the piece off, or we come on done. Oh, so they have to take a piece of his body? Oh my bad, I didn't. Piece I didn't, of Yule, tear it I, off. I didn't even let you. I didn't even let Nia read that. Oh my bad. What? Piece of Yule, tear it off. Noel hurries over to frozen Yule, but can't tear anything off with her bare hands. Oh shit! Ivy picks up a sharp rock and strikes Yule, uh, Yule's ear off. Master wastes no time conjuring it up inside a sphere. Damn. And then they all just kind of stand there for a bit. Ivy is the first to speak. Shh. I told you, you should have sealed him off yesterday. Never seal innocent. He wasn't. We didn't know that. Look what he did to me. Did to Noel. It's bad, yes. But we seal everyone <laughs> we suspect. And soon I seal you. Because someone you sa say you did something. That's true, I guess. You already knew you were, he was harassing Noel. It's no good to jump into extreme measures so right, but really. This time, I'm wrong. But other time, you might be. Noelle, back me up. <laughs> I am not touching that argument with a ten-foot pole. Crying out loud, we could have died. Hey, hey, say what you want about Ivy, but she scrapped. <laughs> she, she went up against the male one-on-one -on -one and started fucking wrestling with him. Like, yeah. like she, she got guts, all right? Like, to let yeah. Noelle escape. She got guts. Yeah, that's true. Noelle picks up the three spheres. Looking at Yule now, all sealed away, Noelle feels both glad and at a loss. Well, there goes my meal ticket. <sighs> What's the matter? Can we move him up to the crevice? Why? Let him rot there and fucking shatter for all I care. I don't know. His friend is up there too. <laughs> I mean, if I was going to be sealed away, it'd be nice to have you there with me, you know? <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> Good idea. If he repent, all is good. He's not going to. Never know. You Elenin and Noel haul Yule up to the crevice. Ivy doesn't help. In fact, once they are done, she punches him in the face with a rock, leaving a dent. Me. Hey, Bank. Don't fight me on this. I'll punch you too. Definitely will never make you a mage. Well, that's your judge of character sucks anyway. Ivy and Master You Elenin argue all the way back home. A few days have passed since then. Noel visits Ivy after running some errands. You look Noel's exhausted. Fine. Let me fix you a snack. Thank you. Soon there are some sandwiches and tea. Rough day again? A little, though it's less about being rough and more about the minuscule pay. I spent so much time just looking for someone who needs something. All in all, a grand old waste of time for a couple of coins. Sorry to hear that. Did you tell your mother yet? I can't tell her. She's gonna suggest some gross alternatives <laughs> oh shit ivy knows i didn't realize it was that bad oh now she knows you, but you know i've been thinking about getting a snowmaker make a oh, snowmaker license myself nice i'm sure you'll get it no problem yeah but there's one issue i don't produce enough snowflakes for it to be worth it huh like i'm going to make snowflakes that look incredible and then Maybe have a cloud or two for a special occasion. Oh, but with an output like that, okay, I'd rather just be an artist. You, Lynn did say like a uh, several sessions ago that Noelle like her output is good, but like the art is trash, you know. Mm -hmm. So I guess they they could help each other out there, maybe. Maybe. Makes sense. But but listen. <laughs> yes. What if I had an assistant? Someone to fill my clouds quota with some really crappy snowflakes while I focus on making the stunning ones. 
Ooh. That's. Is is that allowed? They call that delegation. It's just business. So Yolin could have done something. He was just too much of a dumbass to. Hmm. Noel feels a burning sensation around her eyes. You, do you do that for me? I'm gonna ruin your image delivering such crappy snowflakes majority of the time. Who cares about everyday snowflakes? All that matters are the special days. So how about it? Work under my name, and I'll pay you f for every cloud you fill, fair and square. Nice. Ah. Ivy. I still don't fuck with Ivy. Noelle jumps into Ivy's arms, bawling her eyes out. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now we're business partners. Yes. Let's go talk to Master Yodelin right now. I hope he'll let me take the trial, even if you're not his apprentice. That the old bastard owes me that much. Finish up your sandwich, and we've got business to start. Thank you, Ivy. Don't mention it. No, seriously. Thank you so much. Enjoy your life under my shadow. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> crazy. That's fine. My coins will reflect your shine, and that's enough for me. I mean, that is what Noel needs most, so I guess. Oh, um, that's so sad. Huh. Sure enough, Ivy gets her license without a single hiccup. She still aims to get taken under a master who can help her reach greater heights. Noel knows she'll never make it herself, but she's fine with that. If she was being completely honest, she never cared much for snowflakes in the first place. Her interest in them was based on Ivy and the possibility of getting paid. Oh shit. With their new system in place, they were both happy. Oh look, uh, that's nice. Noelle kind of looks like her mom here in this picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here she looks like Noelle though. See, she looks more, um, uh, well, less broke and Ivy looks less like a snake. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I like how she's like looking at the coins like in the air. <laughs> Yeah. This is nice. And is that the ending? I like the artwork. I don't know. Is it? Let's see. Ivy had some good character development. Yeah, she did. That that like that scrap she did with Yule. That was a, that was good. I like that. Yeah, that was some kind of redeeming. Yeah. Yeah. Ivy focusing on perfecting her craft. Noelle focusing on making a living. And what do you know? It worked out perfectly for them. They got to keep making snowflakes together, just like they had always wanted. And they both compliment each other too, because Noelle has the output that she's good at. And, you know, Ivy's, you know, good at making it intricate. Oh, that's it. Ivy end. Mm -hmm. Wait, there was only one decision that we made, no? Yes. Right? Is there multiple endings? No, there was two I decisions. I mean, there would only be two then. There was two oh. decisions then, right? Wait, Abel, do you remember? How many decisions were there? There was like There was two one decisions. or two. Definitely not three. There's not, not three. Two, it's two decisions you could make. I don't think, I think this is just like the storyline itself. You can't really change anything. No, there is, um, pretty sure there is two endings. Also, that, that, that ending was called Ivy End, so, you know. Oh, shit. We didn't save. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't save, so we can't go back to the uh, the image. You know, I was looking, hoping there would be, like, this insane plot twist. But this is a, a nice, nice ending. Nice uh, small game, you know? Yeah. This is nice. I like the game. How do you, think, how do you guys feel about that? I think that uh, was good. I feel yeah, like I if there were good. this, like, insane plot twist, though, it would also be really good. Like, if... Um, you already was the mom's like love child or something. That'd be crazy, but like some crazy yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was really good. Ivy's half brother. Nice short. <laughs> I, I feel like they could also be like a sequel shut up a uh, setup. Like a uh, Yule legitimately repents and he fucking frees himself minus mm -hmm. one year. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think Nemele's gonna make a sequel though, cause like she's all focused on Coffin of Anya lately. Episode three. Yeah, especially well, she like took these off of itch. Io, right? Yeah, yeah, and like every single one of her games, except for the Coffin of Annie and Lily, she took them off her like, you know, off her game list. So nobody yeah. can even play them unless you deliberately look for them and download them from some sketchy ass place. Oh, are we gonna put the Yule ending? I don't think so. I think uh, if people if people want to see the uh, the Yule ending, they should just you know, yeah, if, if you guys want to see the Yule ending, just download it off of Timu. Yeah, just, just download it off Timu like how I downloaded this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you guys want to see the Yule ending, just just look it up. We're not playing that. We have so much on our plate. I like this ending though. I liked uh, the character development. I really liked uh, Ivy fucking putting her neck on the line. I really liked that. That was nice. Yeah, that was really redeeming for her. Yeah, like... And I mean, I think that Noelle was like a solid character all along, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like Noelle was kind of like a side character. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, I feel like the main, main characters are, like, honestly, like, Ivy and Yule had the most character development. Like, Noelle kind of stayed the same, like, the entire time. Well, I guess Yule stayed the same, too, but, like, it was interesting. Yeah. Definitely interesting. Yudelainen, funny guy. Yudelainen is a funny guy. He can't speak, but he's a funny guy. Do you guys think, uh... Hopefully... Huh? Uh, hopefully Bro. Noelle made so okay. much money that she yeah. retired her mom from the streets, bro. I hope so, man. I hope so. <laughs> I really do. Uh, bro, okay, we break. have to... Can we do the other ending? I really want to do the other ending. Do you want, do you want to look it up, bro? <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's look it up. 73% saying yes. That's crazy. <laughs> Fuck, bro! <laughs> you serious? <laughs> to be honest, I'd watch anything you guys upload. That was out of left field, but I'm down to hear your honest opinion. <laughs> Backyard again. <laughs> Heck yeah, I love you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. You want to something crazy? What? Guess what? What? To get the Ivy ending, you have to specifically tell her to tell her you got accepted. And the other thing is to turn down Yule. Every other thing we chose would have let if we didn't do those two specific things, uh -huh. we would have gotten the Yule ending. How the fuck? Oh shit. We how did we choose? How, how wait, is wait, it? Wait, isn't there we, only two? The the game only gives us two two choices, right? Yeah, no, it gives you two choices, but one of the choices is you tell her that you got accepted. Uh huh. But then it, uh the next choice it gives you it gives you four choices in the next one. Four? Yeah. I so don't you can either that. choose no after you know, so, you know it tells so it's either either tell her you got accepted or you keep it to yourself. And the next after that is you turn down Yule. You either. You can either choose to turn down Yule, consider cheating the trial, turn down Yule, uh, oh yeah, or consider, yeah, you can turn down Yule or consider the cheating trial. So if you did it like any of the other combinations, it would have just gone, like, it would have just gone fucked. Really? Yeah. So the fact that we told her that we got accepted and we also turned down Yule's offer, bro, that's so fucking stupid. So if we told, if we told her we got accepted, but we considered cheating, we gotta, gotta have Yule's endings. If we wrote it, that's so ridiculous, man. We this, choose the one this person in trial. Also got the IV ending. I hate the IV ending. I wanted to see the other. One. I this hate IV. Also got the IV ending. The hell? Where's the Yule ending? Oh shit! Right here. Is that a baby? <laughs> they birthed the demon from freaking the coffin of Andy Lele. What the hell? Wait. So they ended up together? Oh shit! What the fuck? Where the fuck did he get her pregnant? I'm gonna think about would the baby be a. Oh, they're talking about babies. <laughs> oh my god. Would the baby be a snow sprite, an imp, or some undead abomination? All three. Before we go, help me bury my corpse, huh? If you'd like, we can bury you instead. Like faking his death. What the fuck? That's crazy. No, the fact. Did you like, know I, I used to have six siblings instead of five? Oh, we never, we never learned this in our ending. So one of her siblings died. Oh, never mind. She's lying. <laughs> oh my this god. This is a way better ending. No way, Abel. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Wait, I want to see how they lead up to this decision. Yeah. See, now we gotta watch it all. See what uh, we missed out on so many good things. Yeah, oh man, I can't believe we we did the stupid thing. Nah, bro, nah, nah. I like the Ivy ending. I don't. I like would the much Ivy rather ending. be have the Ivy ending right than be than have Noel be this guy's housewife. No, I did bro, not bro, like bro. Yule. I, I don't like Yule either, but I hate the mom. The mom? Yeah, the mom to suggest her daughter get into sex work is. Insane. Okay. It's insane, bro. It's insane. <laughs> but giving Noel a worse life to spite the mom is is kind of. Oh no no no! It's not a it's not a worse life. Isn't doesn't she kind of like want it? I think Noel does kind of want it. I'm not even gonna lie. I think she does kind of want it. I think she likes being bossed around by Yule, which is kind of crazy. I don't know. Personally, I like the Ivy ending. So are they all twenty? Is Noel also twenty? Yeah. We know Ivy is confirmed twenty. We don't know how old everybody else is, but. Noelle's probably around her age. Hmm. Who knows how old Yule is? And Debel was thinking that they were children. Even then, I'd never tell my daughter to go and be a prostitute. Bro, Abel. <laughs> Abel. Noelle's <laughs> mom stun locked you with that, bro. <laughs> that's crazy. That's, yeah, man. I, that's going to be one of the things I never forget. Actually stun locked. Hey, hey, at least you don't have to worry about that anymore, Abel, because Noelle's making money. No, I still, like, she's still giving money to her mom, bro. Like, bro, what, is she not dude. supposed to? Like, the mom's taking care of her, Noelle's five siblings. So fuck them, bro. Why am I going <laughs> to be... <laughs> she That's can't crazy. do that, Abel. It's crazy. I ain't trying to be mean or nothing, but I'm like, brother, I, I didn't get pregnant with five kids. The fuck? You know what I'm saying? And clearly, they don't all have the same dad. Because if they did, I you know what, what I'm saying? Oh, I wonder what did happen to the dad. 
Yeah. I wish uh, Noel had given us more insight into that. Oh, did you guys hear about young, uh, young, young, young Philly? Who? Young Philly. He's like young Diddy. He's like young Diddy. Like Diddy, like the the fucking guy that's all over Twitter now because he's yeah. a fucking he's Black Epstein. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I believe he touched all the new chipmunks. Chipmunks? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, I yeah, that, that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> One day you're partying on Diddy's yacht. <laughs> Wait, what, what video was that where we showed? It that? was in a movie. Um, no, but that was in a. Oh, was it this one? There was a video where. No, like, it was more down. Fuck, I don't even know. It's one of these videos. <laughs> but that was funny. That was hilarious. No, it was. I feel like it was more down. Really? It was at the beginning of one of the Doki Doki videos. No way. All right. Yeah. Let's try, let's try one. Mexican shit. Oh, no, I get this shit out of here. That pisses me <laughs> off, bro. I still stand by what I said. Mexican should not make rice. Okay, okay. <laughs> this has got enough topic. No good Noel is done. Chat, thank you guys for everything. Um. Personally, I think our ending was pretty good. I did not like Yule, so I'm perfectly fine with the Ivy ending. But, you know, as we can see, Nia and Abel disagree with me. Guys, leave down what you guys thought was correct down below. Anything else, guys? Abel, Nia, before I end it off here? Bye, chat. Adios. Adios.